kind of poor light. I'm picking more strawberries. Chris is over there picking tomatoes. And beans. Deer got into the garden. He said the deer got in the garden, but he's picking tomatoes and beans. That's all that are ready right now. Peppers. Peppers. From far away, they actually look like tomatoes. Or like a strawberry, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. From far away. Do you see that big tomato? So this is the biggest tomato we grew. I forget what kind it is. There's a thing right here. It is a better boy. So I think we should have bacon and tomato sandwich tonight is what we should do. Yeah, that sounds it's awesome. Our tomato. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Then we got these little ones to pick too. Wait, wait, wait. What about the beans? What about the beans? I'm making Chris and I some sandwiches. So there is bacon on these, so it is not vegetarian. Then we got this big tomato that we grew in the garden. Chris is showering. Let's put the camera down right here. Thick skin on this thing. The imperfections. All right. Wow, check this out. That's from our garden. So now we put salt and pepper on it. Lots of pepper. This is just kind of a simple dinner. Wow. If you don't like tomatoes, and you've never tried like an actual garden tomato, like fresh, that might be the reason why. Because tomatoes at like grocery stores, a lot of times, they taste like crap. They're like sour, kind of flavorless, kind of nasty sometimes. Sometimes they are nasty, but like garden tomatoes, whether or not they're like little tomatoes or these big ones, they're usually sweet and not too sour. Delicious tomatoes. What else can I add to it? We do have more spinach. And there's actually some cheese on this as well, so it's not vegan or vegetarian. They are done. So we ate those sandwiches the other day. Do we still have those beans? I hope you saved them for the stew. Or did you eat them? Yeah. All right, cool. Because we are going to make a curry. And I was hoping we were going to oh, put those. Go pick, you want to go pick the rest of them? You're up at the very top. Bowl. Oh, right here. We're going to put these in a curry. And we have onions, not from our garden. That we good. One year we grew garlic. We grew like tons and tons of garlic. How many garlic plants do you think we had? We haven't eaten our strawberries we picked. How many um, garlic plants did we have? I have no idea. You think 20? Uh, probably, yeah. Probably over 20, honestly. Do you want to go pick the others? Other beans? I'm going to pick a couple more beans. Oh, strawberries too. We got to get the beans now. That's a big one. So today we got strawberries and some more beans. All right, that's good for beans. We're gonna move on and see if there's any tomatoes. I've already seen a couple, at least one. Hmm. Guess there's two. There's two tomatoes. Oh, I see some more. Maybe the other side. So that's what I picked. Alright, we're gonna start making the curry. Green peppers, carrots. What are these turnips? No, they're the yellow carrots. Oh, so they're just yellow carrots? Purple carrots and yellow carrots and orange carrots. Onions. Green beans from the garden. 
It does have some chicken in there, so it is not vegan or vegetarian. This is cilantro. We got our curries. We're gonna go ahead and eat them. We got to make a sandwich the other day with uh, the tomato, mm -hmm. the big tomato. And we got to make a curry tonight with, uh, we had beans in it and a pepper. Mm -hmm. That's all we used, right? That's all. So make sure you guys subscribe to YRS and like this video. YRS and Chris. Love, Love you long time. time.